On Wednesday the 4th of January, a Russian telegram channel shared several photos of what appear to be miniature satellites. These are in fact 155 bonus submunitions, an advanced anti-armour top attack artillery round. Each 155 bonus round carries two submunitions, capable of striking down on a target vehicle once it's over the target area. As we've seen in other videos, including our look at Javelin Enlaw and Russia's PTKM-1R mine, top attack weapons can be extremely effective. Check out those videos if you haven't already. Ukraine has received a number of highly capable 155mm howitzer systems from numerous Western countries. With conventional ammunition, these are able to accurately engage targets at considerable distances, but the bonus round allows a 155mm shell to deliver two submunitions capable of penetrating any tank's top armour with impressive accuracy. Development of bonus or the Bofors mutating shell, mutating meaning rocking or swaying, began in the mid 1980s and was developed by Sweden's Bofors and Nexta of France. And since Bofors Heavy Weapons Division was bought out by BAE Systems in 2005, the system has been part of BAE's portfolio. Bonus has a base bleed unit which extends its range out to 35 kilometers or nearly 22 miles. Once fired, the shell separates to deploy two independent sensor-fused submunitions. Once separated, these submunitions deploy a pair of winglets and rapidly rotate in flight to enable their built-in sensor to detect targets within their search footprint. The search footprint can span up to 32,000 square meters with a diameter of 200 meters in a helical pattern. The munition uses multiband passive infrared and LIDAR or LADAR, laser imaging detection and ranging to detect its targets. Once detected, the submunition fires its explosively formed penetrator, which can travel at more than 2,000 meters per second. BAE states that the penetrator can penetrate between 100 and 140 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor. This BAE systems video from September 2022 demonstrates how bonus works. This earlier short video from Celsius and Giat also illustrates really well how bonus works, annotating the phases of the shell's trajectory once fired.
Bonus has been in service with the French army since the early 2000s, and has been procured by Sweden, Finland, and Norway. Most recently, in 2018, the US Army selected the round for their cannon-delivered area effects munition program, and has been actively procuring it through several contracts since. A similar munition, Smart 155, developed by Rheimatol and Deal BGT Defense, which uses a parachute to slow the submunitions descent rather than winglets, is also believed to be in use in Ukraine. Bonus and Smart don't fall into the category of weapons banned under the 2008 Convention on Cluster Munitions, as they comprise of just two submunitions and both have onboard self destruction mechanisms. The bonus round seen in the photographs shared by the Russian Telegram channel obviously did not engage the target, and its self destruct mechanism didn't destroy it before it landed. The Russian Telegram channel that shared the photographs of the munition state that it was found in the Donetsk region. The same post suggested that some potential countermeasures, including covering heat signatures with polythene and obscuring the shapes of vehicles, might help mitigate the risk posed by bonus rounds. From the photographs themselves, we can see the submunition is marked NO3374, France, and HMX, a type of high explosive. At the top, it's marked 155MM ACF1BON, while in the second photo, we can see the damaged face of the submunition, its EFP plate, the metal winglets, and the pop-out sensor assembly with what appear to be three lenses. In terms of videos from in theatre that show the use of bonus, there are a number of low-resolution drone videos showing suspected uses of the shells. Some of these have also been suggested to be Smart 155. This video from July perhaps shows bonus in action. There is no visible parachute, as used by the Smart 155, but there are what appear to be two descending submunitions, the first of which we can see detonate over the target, firing an EFP down onto the vehicle. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. As always, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please do consider supporting us over on Patreon or via YouTube memberships. You can get access to all of our videos early and there's other perks available as well. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.